YouTube, what's going on? How y'all doing? Look, we got a very interesting video today. This video really inter really interests me. Now, a year ago, I watched this video, and it was called it Get Serious in PNG, Gangs of Papua New Guinea. And then in the comments, a lot of people coming to this video now. This video catching steam, and a lot of new PNGs coming to this video. You know what I'm saying? This man right here, he say, <clears throat> bro, you got the whole country coming in with content, do another one for PNG. <clears throat> So because of that, and a couple people saying that they like the video, we're gonna go ahead and check out another one. Now this is a this is a tribal war right here, man. So they are going to conflict right here. They're going to war right here. This is 1963. Now look, this is less than a, this is less than a hundred years ago. Just looking at this, I wouldn't expect this to be 1963 because 1963 over here in the states, you still had you had the stock market still so. Whole the time over here, you can get rich, but they over here like living like this. Wayak relaxes, you waiting thought, for his comrades. Like, just looking at this, I would have thought they were still in the early, like, 1300s or something, man. The enemy to signal their readiness by drawing close enough to fire. Oh God, man. They're not even speaking English. They're really throwing. Bro, they fighting like they in the 1300s. They really throwing. Um, what you even call that? A spear? They really throwing them at each other. Ducking and dodging them, throwing them back. Some uphill, some downhill. They really like on some warrior stuff. Look at how many of them it is. And they out here with no socks or shoes on. They have no clothing on. They probably hit somebody right there. How'd they even get this on camera? How are they recording this? Only Mike Mo, who acts as leader, is especially concerned. This is 1963. The enemy badly wants the death that will restore the balance. This was not that long ago. Three weeks before. This might as well be yesterday. They sound like a whole bunch of wild animals. With so many men firing such a quantity of arrows, there is always a chance that one of the many wounds they are certain to inflict will bring about the death they want so much. Man, they barely even covering up their genitals. This is crazy. Nineteen sixty-three. Wow, he got his whole Johnson out right there. They got they. Whoa, hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That man had his... Oh, what was that? That man had a tube over his... Man. Man, so they had a... How he even walking back the thing? He got a tube over the... Man, that's crazy right there. He had a tube over the thing. That's crazy. Uh, And then you see this little boy. He walking around. His thing is all out right there. Hey, bro, right here, man. That's crazy. Finally. Mike Mo's urgings take effect. It looks like and a picture, like a pain or something. Like, like art, really. These boys out here really fight. It is customary that both sides, after fighting hard for a period of time, withdraw to nurse wounds, smoke cigarettes, That's crazy. and review the course right of events. That's crazy. The arrows are not poisoned, but they are barbed and notched so as to break off on impact. 
That's tough. One young warrior, pained but also pleased by his wound, was lucky that an older man has enough to hold as he works the arrow free. Wayak was worried that so many arrows had found their mark, but most of the others were merely stung into more aggressive action. The enemy fell back, thinking that Wayak's group had been secretly reinforced. Having retreated, there was nowhere for them to go except off the ridge and onto some flat land just in front of their little oh, so mountain. They, 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 they chased there, them. Almost at their own frontier, they turned and resumed fighting. They was trying to retreat, but they came and chased them down. At the Tell me they don't sound like a whole bunch of hyenas in a while. End of the ridge, the pursuers caught their breath. Close by the gardens, where their warrior had been killed during a raid only three weeks before, the enemy reorganized, knowing there was still time for fighting. As long as there is enough light to see arrows in flight, and barring sudden rain, or what is much rarer, sudden death, a really formal battle in. continues wow. throughout the day. And then it's tragic because, like he said, they doing this during the day. Wayak rests and lets the younger men exert themselves on the skirmish line. Look at how they communicate, man. This is crazy. In this is new phase. The battle is supervised by yeah. Nilik, who sends a fresh group to back up the... This, this feel like I'm watching a video from the, the 800s or something. Look at their nostrils, man. I seen this with the other guy. They nostrils look real loose, like, it like ain't no meat up in there for real. Look at his hair too. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, so they gotta make sure that they fight during the day. During the nighttime, it's probably real crazy because they can't see. They can't see. This is new phase. The battle is supervised I don't even know what by you call Nimi, those. You can't see them at night. Back up the skirmishers. You can't see them at night though. They're trying to hurry up and get back before it get dark, man. There's so many of them. What's in his hair? What is that in his hair? Oh, what is that? It might not even be his hair for real. How they even know who's on whose team? Like, how do you know who they don't accidentally hit each other? Isn't that crazy right there? Like, how they got that whole thing at the edge of that? Like, that's crazy, man. Like, not even on no weirdo stuff, but that's actually crazy, isn't it? And this. Look how they, look how they, he flung it. He must have hit him. Damn, they really, they really like dodging. And they right on the front line. This damn near like dodgeball. Real life though. You gotta constantly look. Imagine the PTSD that come with this. Imagine the PTSD now. Now you might just be in the field and a butterfly just fly by. And you ducking and dodging because you think it's a sphere. What? I don't even know what you call that, bro. A bow. Yeah, an arrow. I'm tripping. That's an arrow, yeah. An arrow. It sounds like a... It's crazy. Sound like a sports team or something. Don't it though? Well, this is crazy, man. Look at how they dress.
He really turned around like that. That's dangerous, though. He he got his back turned like this, knowing that any moment somebody can just throw him right there, hit him in the back. That's scary. You see how you threw that? Oh, okay, yeah, that's a bow. They got bows too. Those over here fighting. I wonder what they fighting over. They gotta be fighting over the land. And this just they Past normal life like this is what they used sand. to. They just used a to growing up enemy like is this. Carried home on the shoulders they just used friends. to growing up like this. Nilik. Not yet convinced the enemy was content to end the fighting, keeps a watchful eye, as do two young warriors who, a moment before, sought in vain to kill each other. Laka and the others have come close to home. They are tired from the long walk and the heavy work, but glad to know that no one had and been they're killed. Really just humans. Had it been otherwise, they would certainly have been told by someone along the trail. Since such news goes with the speed of sound, shouted from garden to garden and village to village, Laka did hear that two SC, a man from Wuparinma. Okay, so that must have really been his hair. Then they got it kinked up or something. Yeah, they got it. They, they got their hair kinked up. That's crazy. It's 1963. This look like 1300s. Laka did hear that two SC, a man from Wuparinma, was badly wounded, and she wondered how he was. It's how they live. The arrow had ended beneath the collarbone, and its tip broke off beneath the skin. Oh. Tekman, because he lives with Tuasi and Wuparinma, and because he is famous as a surgeon, knew that the only way to get the arrow out was to grip it with his teeth. Oh. Had it been barbed, as most arrows are, Tuasi would have had a far more difficult time and much less chance of living. Oh, he got it too? The ridge, the wow, they got that on jokes camera. Instead of spears. The enemy, for now, is That's forced to listen. Now imagine how much, I know they got a team that's carrying their food because look, all them sitting right here, like they, they not about to just go and catch no animal and cook and eat. So they got some food on the go. They probably had all, they probably all got some type of, they don't look like they carrying nothing though, probably a bag or something. Like how they... Like, where they getting their rations from? Is forced to listen. They must got some people in the back that's carrying everything or something. Or they like protecting they, they must got like a fort or something. They really out here like. No draws on bro. And it's like, not only are they in the middle of fighting and stuff, but they dealing with nature too, like flies. Look how comfortable this is. All of them, all the guys, the men, the males have this thing on they, where it holds the shaft of they, like penis. And they out here like bare feet to the ground. Then yeah, it's like you can't control the weather, so it might get cold. You gotta deal with that. It might get hot, and a lot of mosquitoes. You gotta deal with that. It's a different day and age. I see a lot of the guys stand like that. I wonder why they stand so, like so loose like that. So. I don't know, fruity. Why they stand so fruity like that? <laughs> Back then. To patch the wound, some moistened leaves are bound in place with bits of long grass. They stand fruity back here. <laughs> to revive his attire, Ken, literally to call back bro, his seeds crazy, of singing man. from that's their flight to his backbone, like that, a friend applies a wand of grass and murmurs magic words. She really crazy, bro. Like all on the camera. <laughs> 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 Dude, I'm 
But that Tech sounds fake. makes the last of four punctures in the belly's wall to let out the blood turned dark by the enemy's arrow. Man. I know that hurt right there. I know that hurt. I know that hurt. Soldiers. Soldiers. The time to leave has come. For most, the walk ahead will take an hour, and no one wants to risk a meeting with a ghost. How they living, bro? will not have to walk, but he must be covered to protect him from the gaze of ghosts, which wounded men are careful to avoid. They got him laying in that. They got to carry him now. Tuasi starts home, his weapons and his life in the hands of men from his own village. <laughs> and it's like, you can't just be tired and stop. You can't just sit there. You got to go. You got to. Ain't no you tired. You can't fall behind like you have no choice but to go. That's crazy, man. That was real interesting, man. <coughs> PNG, that was real interesting. That's how y'all was living in 1963. Maybe this movie or this film came out in 1963, but there's no way y'all was living like this in 1963. Let me know if that's true. Uh, like the video, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Make sure you actually like to get this channel, get the algorithm going. You like it, I mean, it shows that the more people that let me know that you actually like the video, and that makes me, you know, want to make more and better content, better quality content, take my time, add it, make it more smoother, you know what I'm saying? So actually like the video. Uh, that was interesting. Let me know if that's actually how it was in 1963, or if that was before, like, the 1800s or something. I'm out, we going, let's get it.